Well, we had a terrific announcement here at Exit 38 at Yatla this morning. Paul, tell us uh, a little bit about the announcements and why that's so important to this community. Well, Bert, you and Stu Robin and, and uh, other members of the LNP team have been just highlighting how important it is to deal with congestion uh, here at Exit 38 as has been done on a number of other exits up and down the M1. So we're committing $55 million for what will be a $110 million project, calling on Queensland State Labor to match that, uh, as is the standard for M1 50-50. So they need to step forward, but this is an election commitment. Great news for your decision. Congestion busting projects like this aren't just about getting um, individuals and families home and together, but they're also about unlocking the great economic potential of this region and creating more and more opportunities for people to achieve their aspirations. Can I say first of all, the business case has been on Mark Bailey's desk since November 2018 for this project and not one dollar committed. Thank you, thank you Paul for coming on board, making a commitment of 55 million. It's a huge difference to this community. They're stuck in traffic, Amanda you mentioned it, they're stuck in traffic every day, just getting onto the M1, off the M1, and of course the safety issues as well. That's the biggie for the people trying to get off that M1, to have it ramped back onto the, uh, uh, onto the M1. Um, but at the end of the day, 55 million, it's only 50% of the funding. I've got a petition that's being that's landing in the Queensland Parliament today about this. It's been going for a few months now, so timing couldn't have been more perfect in that regard. Uh, I'll be speaking on this matter tonight and calling on the Minister to back the federal government, the federal Morrison government, and put another 55 million on the table uh, immediately so that we can get something underway on this.